So after the last video, maybe guys that love Keegan, they kept saying, oh no, what you're saying isn't different from what Keegan is saying. You're saying exact same thing, blah, 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 blah. It's okay. That's why I want to take my time again to do this video to break it down in elementary format so that every single individual can get it. But make sure you watch this video to the very end because I have a challenge for Keegan that I need him to take. All right, so you need to watch the video till the very end. It's not so much of a long video. It's a very short and precise video. The part they also don't tell you is the fact that once it's rainy season like this and there's clouds every day and there's no sun to actually recharge the batteries using the solar panels, you get zero electricity. This statement is incorrect. What he should have said is reduced energy production when there is absence of sunlight. Even some solar panels in low light conditions performs well. So solar panel uses light, not only sunlight. A perfect example is definitely going to be your bifacial solar panel. Your bifacial solar panel generates electricity from the front and back surface of the solar panel. Alright, so whilst the front is faced to direct sunshine, the back generates electricity from the light reflections around. Meaning that solar panel generates electricity from light, not only sunlight. But when you have the presence of sunlight, you have a large increased production coming into your solar system. Because the sunlight happens to be the highest intensity of light for you to work with in your solar system. The part they don't tell you is how putting together a solar panel and inverter system that's actually going to be able to stand on its own run you several millions, 5 to 10 million, depending on the size of your building, right? You actually don't need so much money for you to put up solar panels, all right? You can get a decent amount of solar system installed for yourself, but what you need to have is power discipline. When it's raining or when it's cloudy and you have reduced energy production coming from the sun, you need to start reducing your load your energy load. You can keep blasting the ACs when you have reduced energy production coming into your system. What you basically need to do is look at your basic appliances and keep them on. Turn off the air conditioners. If you have the capacity to still run two or three air conditioners, that's fine. But everybody's budget is going to have to contain what they can afford. So work within your budget, work within your means, and then have power discipline. That's all then your system can see you through to next time when you're going to see sunshine or heavy intensity sun exposure. 100 advisor, zero helper. Nobody's helping me now when I'm spending money I'm not supposed to be spending. Lots of people have advised you to install solar, to go off grid, blah, 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 blah. Right now that you are frustrated with your system, nobody's helping you because you're looking in the wrong places. Look for the real professionals. Not everybody who says, oh, I can install solar has the expertise to do that. You need to be able to read in between the lines. If that person cannot stand on his feet and make a phone call to someone he has done an installation for and you listen to the customer and how satisfied or how his system is going, do not take that risk of putting your whole investment or the value you're supposed to get in this guy because the system is not going to work properly. Do not generalize. Do not use your experience to judge how the entire solar system in Nigeria or all over the world functions. Be careful about what you say because you could be letting out the very wrong information which is very misleading and which is really not good enough. This was Kigan's comment while this whole thing was going on. So what it's practically saying in this particular message is that I should have researched to know about who I'm talking about before delving into the video. That comment reeks of arrogance. It was totally unnecessary. And I keep telling people all the time, humility is free and is also stress-free. If you're big, let people talk about how big you are, not you. So this was a second comment that he also made. Now, he keeps missing the point all the time. It's not about having the best solar components in the world. The question is, do you know how to configure those solar panels to work effectively? You can have the most expensive solar components in the world, like the Victrons here, but if you do not know how to configure these systems to work effectively, if you do not know how to do the connections properly, if you do not understand the guiding principles to how these things work, my friend, you're just throwing away money. <laughs> right. So I think at this point, it's okay for you to seek professional help. You've been dealing with the wrong guys and there's more chances that you're always going to run into the bad guys than run into the good guys. So if you're so sure about all the solar components that he has and all these beautiful solar gadgets that he has, let him give me access to go and see the solar system he has. 
because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever that it has the best solar components, it has the biggest battery storage bank, and yet whenever it rings, it goes back to using generator. Something must be wrong in that configuration. Something must be wrong in that connection. So let him give me access. I'm gonna do it absolutely free. I'm not gonna charge him any money, but I just wanna prove to him that solar is very, very effective. If solar wasn't effective, the advanced countries in the world wouldn't be using renewable energy. All right, so when you go to the advanced countries in the world, solar energy is very, very popular. That's the very much we can take today, guys. Thank you so much for being part of this. Always remember, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. Keep it date in the next video.